Have you ever wondered how planes are made? What goes into the making of these giant flying machines? Welcome to the intriguing sphere of aviation, a diverse industry that amalgamates the principles of science, the precision of engineering, and a sprinkle of audaciousness to take mankind towards the cosmos. The phenomenon of creating an aircraft, spectacle of contemporary technology, is as captivating as the journey of flight itself. Consider this, a mighty machine that tips the scale at hundreds of thousands of pounds, carrying hundreds of people, gliding through the vast expanse of the sky at breathtaking speeds of over 500 miles per hour. It seems like a figment of an imaginative mind, or perhaps an aspect depicted in science fiction literature, yet it's a reality that we've become deeply familiar with, almost taking it for granted. But how do we materialize this astonishing reality? How do we metamorphose a rudimentary idea into a tangible, airborne machine? The journey kicks off with the kindling of curiosity, akin to the spark that fueled the ambition of the Wright brothers, aviation pioneers, over a hundred years ago. In the year 1903, they presented humanity with the gift of flight. And since then, we've not only mastered the art of flying, but we've also perfected the skill of soaring. The landscape of aviation has witnessed an awe-inspiring metamorphosis. From the traditional propeller-driven aircraft that were the foundation of aviation, to the lightning-fast supersonic jets that pierced the sky, the evolution of aviation is nothing short of a marvel. But let's not skip chapters. The genesis of an airplane is a, an intricate process, necessitating meticulous accuracy, comprehensive planning, and a relentless dedication to the safety protocols. It's in blend of creativity and scientific principles, where a plethora of components, each crucial in its own respect, amalgamate into a concerto of engineering brilliance. This journey commences long before the airplane embarks on its inaugural flight. It originates from a blueprint, a comprehensive plan that delineates every minute detail of the aircraft. From this point, the appropriate materials are hand-picked, each for its unique characteristics that would enable the plane to endure the harsh challenges of flight. Following the selection comes the assembly line, an orchestrated setup where these individual components are meticulously pieced together. This is succeeded by a strenuous phase of testing and quality control to ascertain the aircraft's airworthiness. And this is just a peek into the process, a mere tip of the iceberg. The process of an airplane is layered with numerous intricate steps, with each step being more engrossing than the preceding one. So tighten your seatbelts and ready yourselves departure. The journey that lies ahead is filled with exhilarating turns, spiraling ascents, and breathtaking views. Stay tuned as we unravel the fascinating journey of an airplane's life from an idea to the skies. The creation of an airplane begins with a blueprint, but what does this blueprint entail? The answer to this is not simple. It's a multitude of components working in unison. The blueprint, the skeletal framework of the entire process, it's the very heart and soul of the conception. It's the architect's dream, the seed from which the idea of an aircraft sprouts. It is the imagination of a human mind, manifested on a piece of paper, waiting to be brought to life. This blueprint is the engineer's guide. It's the map leading the engineers through the labyrinth of technicalities. Like a compass guiding a voyager in the vast ocean, the blueprint steers the engineers in the right direction. It's their trusted manual, their unwavering compass, their scientific scripture that they abide by. For the builders, this blueprint is akin to a Bible. It's their guiding star, their oracle that they turn to every time they need answers. The blueprint holds the key to their construction conundrums. It's the pillar on which the builders hang their expertise, their skills, their craftsmanship. A blueprint is more than just sketches on a sheet of paper. It's a meticulously crafted plan, a roadmap that delineates every minute detail of the aircraft. Every ink stroke, every notation, every measurement on the blueprint is a deliberate, intentional mark that culminates into the birth of an aircraft. The design and planning phase of an airplane is an intricate dance between science and art. In this cosmic ballet, the science of aviation blends seamlessly with the aesthetics of design, creating a flawless symphony. It's a task that necessitates a symphony of minds, each contributing their unique expertise to the grand design. In the process, aeronautical engineers, designers, and even psychologists harmonize their knowledge and skills to orchestrate the creation of the blueprint. Every curve, every line, every bolt and rivet is carefully thought out and planned. It's like placing each piece of a jigsaw puzzle in its correct place, slowly but surely transforming an abstract concept into a concrete entity. 
aeronautical engineers ensure that the design aligns with the principles of flight and aerodynamics. They are the scientists who dwell in the realm of numbers and calculations. They are the maestros conducting the science part of the symphony. They calculate the weight, the balance, the thrust, and the lift. Their primary focus is on the physics of flight and the principles of aerodynamics. Designers, on the other hand, work on the aesthetics and ergonomics of the aircraft. They are the artists who paint the picture of the aircraft with their imagination. Their canvas is the blueprint where they sketch their ideas. They plan the interior layout, choose the materials, and design the seating arrangements. They ensure that the design is comfortable and convenient for passengers, while also meeting the aesthetic standards of the airline. And let's not forget the psychologists. Yes, you heard right, psychologists. They are the human element experts, studying passengers' behavior and interactions. They assess how people react in different situations and how to design the aircraft to enhance passenger comfort and reduce stress. Every single detail, no matter how minute, is meticulously planned. It's a process that involves countless hours of brainstorming, sketching, calculating, and refining. It's an art and a science, a testament to human ingenuity and creativity. The blueprint serves as the bridge from concept to reality, from imagination to creation. The making of an aircraft blueprint is akin to the creation of a masterpiece. It's a symphony composed by the hands of countless artists, a ballet choreographed by the minds of brilliant scientists, a story written by the hearts of dedicated workers. It requires not just technical acumen, but also artistic flair, psychological insight, and sheer dedication. And so, after countless hours of planning and designing, the blueprint is ready. It's the fruit of a colossal collective effort, a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. It's the first tangible evidence of a dream that's about to take flight. Now it's time to bring it to life. The choice of material for an airplane is crucial, but why is that so? This question might make you scratch your head, but it is integral to understanding the marvel of engineering that is aviation. Let's unravel this intriguing aspect of airplane construction. Airplane creation is an art as much as it is a science. It's not merely about assembling some pieces of metal and hoping for it to take flight. It's an intricate and complex process, where each piece, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, plays a crucial part in the grand symphony that is flight. Now, these pieces are not just made of any materials. They are crafted from materials that have been specifically chosen for their unique properties. This selection process is akin to baking a gourmet cake. You wouldn't just randomly pick any old ingredient in your pantry to create a sumptuous dessert, right? You need the right type of flour, the perfect amount of sugar, and eggs that are absolutely fresh. Similarly, airplane manufacturers must also make the right decisions when it comes to selecting the materials used in construction. They need to ensure the plane is light enough to take to the skies, yet sturdy enough to withstand the multitude of forces acting upon it during flight. Take, for instance, the body of the airplane, also known as the fuselage, it is often made from a specific kind of material called aluminium alloy. This material is not chosen randomly. Aluminium alloy is lightweight, corrosion resistant, and strong. These unique properties make it ideal for enduring the harsh and often unpredictable conditions that a plane may encounter during flight. But it's not just about the weight. The materials chosen must also be durable. They should be able to stand the test of time and the numerous challenges that come their way. Take the wings of the plane as an example. These need to be strong enough to hold the colossal weight of the aircraft during flight, yet flexible enough to withstand turbulence and other aerodynamic forces. Here, a composite material like carbon fiber reinforced polymer comes into play. This material is five times stronger than steel, yet it weighs only a third as much. Furthermore, the materials used in an airplane also impact its performance. The smoother and lighter the materials, the less drag the plane experiences. This reduction in drag can lead to higher speeds and better fuel efficiency, thereby enhancing the overall performance of the plane. But it's not just about the big picture. Even the smallest components, like the nuts and bolts, play a significant role. These are made from carefully selected materials like titanium. This choice is not random either. Titanium is strong yet light, making it the perfect choice for the tiny components that may seem minor but are essential for the functionality of the plane. In essence, the materials used in an airplane are a critical aspect of its construction, playing a significant role in its weight, durability, and overall performance. It's a delicate balancing act, 
a harmonious blend of science and engineering. The physics of flight, the of materials, and the ingenuity of engineering all come together in this process, creating a marvel that is truly a testament to human innovation and progress. With the right materials in hand, the construction process can commence. Just like an artist carefully selects their paint and brushes, an engineer or designer carefully chooses the right for each part of the airplane. And with a seemingly simple choice of materials, a complex machine capable of defying gravity and soaring through the skies is created. To sum it up, the materials used in an airplane are not just a list of substances. They are the backbone of the aircraft, the silent heroes that make flight possible. They are the lifelines that ensure the safety and efficiency of air travel. It's a fine balancing act, a harmonious blend of science and a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. With the right materials in hand, it's time to start building. Now comes the exciting part, the assembly line. But what does this process entail? Imagine a grand orchestra, each musician with a unique part to play, coming together to create a beautiful symphony. Now replace these musicians with mechanical parts and pieces, and you have the assembly line. It's a meticulously designed process, each stage as critical as the last, all starting with the wings. The wings, perhaps the most critical components in airplane are assembled first. Their construction is a magnificent and intricate process that involves the integration of numerous components. Let's dissect this a bit further. The main structure of the wing, known as the wing box, is an engineering marvel. It's where the fuel tanks, which power the aircraft's engines, are located. Additionally, it houses the landing gear, a crucial part of the airplane responsible for smooth takeoffs and safe landings. These seemingly insignificant parts of the wing box contribute significantly to the safe and efficient operation of the plane. Attached to the wing box are the flaps and ailerons, integral parts of the wing that control the aircraft's movement during flight. The flaps adjust the wing's lift during takeoff and landing, while the ailerons enable the airplane to roll and bank into turns. These aerodynamic devices must be precisely fitted to ensure smooth and safe flights. Once the wings are fully assembled, they are cautiously transported to the main assembly line, eager to be coupled with the plane's body or fuselage. This transition marks the beginning of another significant phase of assembly, the fuselage assembly. The fuselage is the airplane's main body. It's the large cylindrical structure that passengers walk down when boarding a flight. The cockpit, the passenger cabin, and the cargo hold all originate here. Let's explore this further. The fuselage assembly starts with the cockpit, the aircraft's command center. Here, pilots navigate the plane, making crucial decisions throughout the flight. Every button, switch, and control must be meticulously installed and thoroughly tested to ensure a safe journey. Next in line is the passenger cabin. From the overhead storage compartments to the tiny reading lights above the seats, every feature is installed meticulously. Then comes the cargo hold, the belly of the airplane, where luggage, freight, and other items are securely stored during flight. The fuselage's assembly culminates with the tail section. It houses the vertical and horizontal stabilizers, which help maintain the aircraft's balance during flight. These components, like every other part of the fuselage, must be precisely assembled and rigorously tested to ensure optimal performance. Next up is the engine assembly. The engines, the heart of the aircraft, are constructed separately. They're intricate machines that require a high degree of precision throughout their assembly and rigorous testing upon completion. Once they pass stringent quality checks, they're ready to be attached under the wings, prepared to propel the airplane through the clouds. However, the assembly process doesn't end there. Once the wings and fuselage have been assembled and the engines have been attached, the plane undergoes a process known as the marriage. This term romantically describes a highly technical procedure where the wings are meticulously aligned and attached to the fuselage, forming a complete airframe. This momentous step signals that the airplane is starting to resemble an airplane. Throughout this elaborate process, teamwork is paramount. Each individual involved has a unique role to play. Their tasks, performed with exactness and dedications, interweave like a beautifully choreographed dance. It's a testament to human ingenuity and cooperation, a ballet of parts and pieces, all synchronized perfectly. Moreover, the assembly line isn't just a marvel of modern engineering, it's also a testament to the human spirit. Day in and day out, people work tirelessly, transforming raw materials into aviation wonders. For them, it's more than just a job. It's a calling. Their unwavering passion drives them towards perfection, pushing them to create something truly incredible.
The assembly line is where the airplane starts to take shape, but it's not ready for the skies just yet. The journey of an airplane from a collection of parts to a fully functioning machine is far from over. But for now, let's appreciate the beauty of this complex process, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of perfection. Before an airplane takes to the skies, it must pass a series of rigorous tests. But what are these tests? An airplane is a marvel of engineering, a modern testament to the genius of mankind's technological prowess. It's a colossal bird constructed of steel and aluminum designed to soar through the heavens, defying the natural law of gravity. But before it can spread its wings and ascend into the blue expanse above, it must first endure and pass a stringent series of checks and tests. Each one is meticulously designed and implemented to ensure the plane's safety and ultimate dependability. So, let's embark on an enlightening journey into the world of airplane testing and quality control, an often overlooked but critical aspect of aviation. The testing phase is a grueling process that begins with individual components. Each singular part, from the tiniest, seemingly insignificant screw to the imposing mass of the largest engine, is put under a metaphorical microscope. Every component has to meet the exacting specifications laid down by aviation authorities and the manufacturers themselves. The tests these components are subjected to expose them to conditions that are far more extreme than they are ever likely to encounter in flight. They endure the scorching heat of a desert noon, the freezing cold of an Arctic night, the crushing pressure experienced at great depths underwater, and even the thrilling force of simulated lightning strikes. The engine, the proverbial heart of any airplane, is put through its paces with a series of demanding stress tests. They're run at full power for hours on end, often far longer than a standard long-haul flight. The engines are tested for their resilience against bird strikes, a surprisingly common occurrence in aviation. They also have water and ice thrown into them to simulate the adverse weather conditions they may encounter during a flight. Once the individual components have been thoroughly tested and have received their stamp of approval, they're assembled into a complete airplane. But the testing phase is far from over. The completed airplane now has to undergo a series of ground tests to ensure its readiness for flight. These ground tests scrutinize everything from the intricacies of its electrical systems to the complexities of its hydraulic systems. The airplane's ability to withstand the stresses of taxiing, the process of moving the airplane on the ground under its own power, is also thoroughly evaluated. However, the most crucial tests are still on the horizon, the one everyone's been anticipating, the flight tests. These tests are designed to push the airplane to its limits, to ensure handle anything that might happen during a real flight. The airplane is flown at its maximum speed, its highest possible altitude, and loaded to its maximum weight. The plane's handling is tested in a variety of conditions. From clear, calm skies to thundering, turbulent storms, it faces them all. Safety systems are also subject to rigorous checks. Emergency systems like evacuation slides, oxygen masks, fire extinguishers, and flotation devices are deployed and duly checked. How will the airplane perform during an emergency landing? This burning question is tested with pilots practicing daunting scenarios like engine failures and complete electrical outages. Throughout all this exhaustive testing, precious data is collected, analyzed, and interpreted. The collated data helps engineers identify any potential issues that need to be addressed. It's a process of constant refinement and adjustment, with the singular goal of making the airplane as safe and reliable as possible. But the testing doesn't stop once the airplane is in service. Regular maintenance checks and inspections are conducted to ensure that the airplane remains in peak condition. Any potential issues are identified and addressed before they can escalate into problems. Quality control is the silent guardian that stands watch at the heart of airplane manufacturing. It's a process that involves everyone, from the engineers who design the airplane to the pilots who fly it. This commitment to quality control is a process that never ends because the safety of the passengers is never that can be compromised. Only after passing all these tests, an airplane is ready for its maiden flight. And when it takes to the skies for the first time, it's not just a testament to human ingenuity and engineering prowess, but also to the meticulous testing and quality control that ensure each flight is as safe as it can be. This is the story of an airplane, from its birth in the manufacturing plant to its triumphant ascent into the wild blue yonder. The moment of truth, the maiden flight. But what does this flight entail? This is a pivotal moment in the history of aviation, 
a significant point in the lifespan of an aircraft. It is the apex, the climax of countless hours of meticulous design, careful material selection, precise assembly, and rigorous testing. All the dedication, hard work, and painstaking effort culminate in this one decisive moment known as the maiden flight. The maiden flight is the first complete test of a newly designed and constructed aircraft, a moment brimming with anticipation, excitement, and yes, a certain degree of apprehension. It is not merely a test run, but an event of immense significance. The importance of the maiden flight cannot be overemphasized. It's not just about lifting off the ground and soaring through the uncharted sky, it's essentially about validating the entire process that has led to this point. It's about proving the worth of every line on the blueprint that was not merely a drafted sketch, but a viable, functional design, testament to the skill of the design engineers. It's about vindicating the choice of materials, validating that they were not just strong and light, but also suitable for the specific purpose they were chosen for. It's about demonstrating that the assembly line didn't just put together parts, but meticulously constructed a fully functioning airplane with all its complexities and intricacies. The maiden flight, the final checks and preparations, are carried out with an almost obsessive precision. Every detail is given importance, every potential issue meticulously scrutinized. Every bolt used in the construction of the plane is checked to ensure it meets the stringent safety criteria. Every system is tested to ensure it operates at optimum efficiency, and every potential issue is painstakingly scrutinized to ensure the safety and success of the maiden flight. The fuel is checked for purity, ensuring no contaminants that could potentially harm the engines are present. The engines themselves are checked for performance to verify they are capable of producing the power needed for takeoff, cruise, and landing. The electronics are checked for functionality as they play a crucial role in controlling and navigating the aircraft. The pilots, engineers, and ground crew work in unison, perfectly synchronizing their efforts to ensure every component, every system, is in perfect working order. As the plane taxis onto the runway, the tension among the team is palpable. Every heartbeat is in sync with the steady hum of the engines. The engines roar to life, the very sound echoing the anticipation of the team. The ground crew, after ensuring every pre-flight checklist is complete, gives the final thumbs up. And then, it's time. The plane races down the runway, faster and faster, with an eagerness to meet the open sky. Finally, its wheels leave the ground, and the maiden flight is underway. It's a breathtaking sight, watching this magnificent machine ascend into the sky, circling the airport, performing maneuvers. The flight is a tangible demonstration of human ingenuity, of man's constant endeavor to push boundaries. It's a testament to the power of science and engineering, and a tribute to sheer human determination and willpower. But it's not just about the spectacle. The maiden flight is a critical data gathering exercise as well. Every aspect of the plane's performance is closely monitored, every detail meticulously recorded. This information will be used to make any necessary adjustments, to fine tune the design, to ensure that the airplane is as safe and efficient as it can possibly be. With a successful maiden flight, the airplane is ready for the world. It's a triumph, a celebration, a joyous occasion, a moment of immense pride for everyone involved. It's the commencement of a new journey, one that will see the airplane serving people all over the globe, connecting cities, countries, and continents. The maiden flight is not just an end to a phase, but a new beginning, a stepping stone towards greater achievements. The maiden flight is not just an end, but a new beginning. Finally, the airplane is ready for delivery. But what does this process entail? Aircraft delivery is the culmination of a long, tiresome journey of rigorous designing, planning, and fabrication. Everything about the making of an airplane is meticulously detailed, and the delivery is no less intricate. The procedure kicks off once the airplane has taken its maiden flight, a pivotal moment that marks the inception of a new journey. This journey is not about the aircraft rolling off the production line anymore. It's about the airplane transforming into an operational tool of the skies, a powerful machine that connects people, places, and cultures. And so, the process of handover begins. This phase is an integral part of the journey, a transition where the airplane is no longer a marvel in production, but a fully operational vehicle ready to paint the skies. As the airplane completes its test flights and gets all the necessary approvals, it's time for the crucial step of the handover. It's a moment of anticipation, excitement, and a bit of apprehensiveness for everyone involved. 
the manufacturing team, the customer, and the technical experts. As part of the delivery process, the customer's inspection is the first essential step. This involves the airline representatives, along with their technical teams, coming to inspect the airplane in thorough detail. They scrutinize every nook and cranny of the plane, examining every attribute, from the plane's sleek exterior and plush interiors to its robust engine performance and advanced onboard systems. The representatives leave no stone unturned, ensuring that every facet of the aircraft aligns with their expectations and requirements. The objective? To make sure the aircraft they are about to receive matches the specifications they ordered, down to the last detail. Once the customer expresses satisfaction with the airplane, the official handover takes place. This often involves a ceremonial event, a celebration that marks the birth of a new bird ready to spread its wings. Amidst cheers and applause, the keys to the airplane are handed over and the plane is officially christened as the property of the airline. But the journey doesn't end there. Now that the airplane is in the hands of its new owners, the next phase of its life begins, gearing up for operations. This involves a series of tasks such as fueling, loading of in-flight essentials, seating arrangement checks, coordinating with the ground crew, and the crucial safety checks. Every single part of the airplane needs to be rechecked and validated, ensuring the aircraft is ready for its first commercial flight. And even long after its initial delivery, the airplane has to go through periodic maintenance and checks. This is to ensure that the airplane stays in top shape, ready to take on the challenges of the skies at a moment's notice. These routine inspections, everything from checking the engines, control systems, safety equipment, to more in-depth checks after a certain number of flight hours or years of service. Let's not forget the team of dedicated engineers and mechanics working tirelessly behind the scenes. They are the unsung heroes, the ones pulling the strings from behind the curtain. They ensure these magnificent machines remain in the air, guaranteeing every takeoff is safe, every in-flight experience smooth, and every landing secure and uneventful. And just like that, another airplane is ready to soar the skies. From the initial blueprint to its maiden flight, delivery, and eventual operation, it's a complex journey. It's a journey that ensures every plane is ready to take to the skies with confidence, carrying the hopes and dreams of countless passengers on its wings. So that's how an airplane is made. But let's take a closer, more in-depth look at this fascinating process, which the epitome of human innovation and genius. Our journey unfolded with the enthralling magic of aviation, an industry that continues to mesmerize us with its unprecedented progress and futuristic technology. This magical realm of aviation is a testament to human resilience, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's about challenging the impossible, soaring beyond the limits and propelling humanity forward. Our exploration began at the drawing board, where every single element of the airplane is scrupulously planned and mapped out. The plane's blueprint is much like its genetic makeup, a one-of-a-kind blend of components that give it its purpose, personality, and potential. The blueprint is the heart and soul of our aircraft, a comprehensive map that guides its construction, assembling, and working. We then delved into the significance of material selection, which is a crucial step in the airplane creation process. The materials used in constructing an airplane are not picked on a whim or without forethought. Each material is specifically chosen for its unique properties, strength, durability, lightness, and resistance to various elements. Every piece of metal, every bolt, every wire, they all serve a specific function and are chosen with unparalleled precision. Thereafter, our journey took us to the bustling assembly line, the birthplace of the airplane. This is where the meticulously selected components unite to materialize the airplane. The assembly process demands a high degree of expertise, skill, precision, and patience. Each part of the aircraft is assembled in a certain adhering to stringent guidelines to assure the safety, stability, and reliability of the airplane. Our next stop was quality control and rigorous testing, which are integral components of the plane-making process. Each airplane is subjected to exhaustive tests to verify its safety for flight. From stress tests to simulated flight conditions, these rigorous checks and procedures are pivotal to ensure the plane's optimal performance and safety. The maiden flight is a defining moment for every airplane. This first genuine test is the culmination of all the blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into its creation. It's not just a moment of jubilation and accomplishment, but also a critical evaluation of the airplane's capabilities, performance, and readiness. 
Lastly, we discuss the delivery and operation phase. Once the airplane is deemed ready and meets all required standards, it's handed over to the airline and embarks on its life in operation. This is the phase when the airplane truly fulfills its purpose, to transport people and goods across the vast expanse of our world, making distances seem trivial and connecting us in ways that were once unimaginable. The process of making an airplane is indeed a testament to human ingenuity, creativity, and the relentless pursuit of progress. It's a journey of turning dreams into reality, of making the impossible possible. So next time you spot a plane soaring high in the clear blue sky, Take a moment to appreciate the journey it took to get there and the incredible human intellect behind its creation.